Hey everybody, welcome to this week's market update. I am your host, Tim Weigel, and I got some great information on our market, as well as some insights, especially talking about the interest rate that you might want to hear. So let me go ahead and share my slides for this week. And I hope you're ready for this fun ride because it's going to be wild, that's for sure. So where is it? All right, guys. So here it is, the market update where we're covering April 18th through April 24th. So first off, we start off with the actives. And I can honestly say we're seeing an uptick of actives. Might be start of the summer selling season. More people wanting to put their homes on the market. This is the highest that we've had actives across these five counties since the week ending January 16th. So it's been a while. Uh, but we're definitely creeped up to 35.85 for the week of last week. Um, Orange County is up, Seminole County is up, Volusia is up, Lake County is up, Osceola County is up. So we're across the board up. So this could be a good site for us. Now, solds. Solds are slightly down, um, but you know. A lot of that could be a little bit more hesitation in the market, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But solds are going down a little bit. It's also, the increase in actives could be spurred by the market too. Median sales price. So we jumped up approximately about a 3% jump week over week. Uh, Orange County jumped up to 412,000, which is their highest for the year so far. As you can tell, we've been inching up each week pushing those prices as the other ones start to close at that higher price. And that's the reason why the market keeps driving up is we drive up the prices, supply and demand. You might be tired of hearing it, but the fact is that's what it is. Uh, Seminole County's at 379, uh, Volusia 339,950, which was actually their highest for the entire year so far. Um, getting pushed up at 361 for Lake County. So it's getting up there. Uh, Osceola County at 389.559. So the rough average is 376 across the counties. So we're moving. Now, days on market. Um, everything we're under single digits. So not one is over 10 days. Nine days is our longest at Volusia, Seminole, and Lake County, which doesn't surprise me, is at six days. Very hot markets in those counties. But still, Orange and Osceola ain't slackers either, just one day behind. Now, here are some of my thoughts. So we're starting to see an uptick of active listings as we move into the summer selling season. That's expected. Summer selling season is usually the peak because people want to change schools in the summer. So they start at the beginning of the school year instead of finishing at the end of the school year. I anticipate also as the year goes on that the market's going to slowly start to cool off. We're not going to see these 50K, 60K year over year increases. It's going to start leveling off as if a plane, plane is landing on the runway. And part of the reason it's driving that is going to be the interest rates as they tick up. Uh, we're still at just pretty low interest rates at 5.125, give or take, based off the last closing of the market from what I could see with no points. Uh, but we're going to see that cause some buyers getting priced out of the market, which is what's gonna drive the slowing down. It also could be pushing the active listings to hurry up, let's jump on before the rates go up too high and we have too limited of a pool, we might not have it. Um, now we'll continue to see the median in price though, increase is what I'm predicting, just at a slower rate. And here's an interesting thing to leave you guys with. Are we in a seller's market or are we in a buyer's market? Many people are gonna say we're in a seller's market, which I can understand why, because of how fast and how many offers sellers are getting and they're controlling their own terms. But are we not in a buyer's market too? Because the buyers that are buying the home are jumping into equity real fast and it's moving up real fast at this time. So problem is they just have a lot of stresses to make it the buy go through, but it still can be considered a buyer's market for the buyer because the ones that are closing on deals, they're thankful and they're definitely better off today than they were last year with their home. So please subscribe to my channel, leave me any comments that you would like, 
here's simple ways to connect with me. I look forward to advising you next week. And next week's the big one. We're going to be taking a quick look at April over the previous year, April, and see how we're moving approximately. So I'll see you then. Talk to you all later. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I would love to answer them.